Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and happy December 1st. Welcome to the last month of the year. This is episode number 468, and I have one birthday to go over today. It's the first birthday of the month. And it belongs to Mr. Britt Slabinski. He was born December 1st, 1969, and he is a former U.S. Navy SEAL Master Chief Special Warfare Operator that earned the Medal of Honor for his actions in the war in Afghanistan. So a very happy 52nd birthday to Mr. Britt Slabinski. I did cover his story way back on episode number 207, and there will be a link in the show notes for you to go ahead and check that out. And that's the only birthday for today, the only bit of news, and I have nothing else. So let's waste no more time and get right into today's episode. Eli was born on the 22nd of August, 1878, in Heightstown, New Jersey, and he entered the U.S. Military Academy in 1897 at the age of 19. He did not graduate with his initial class of 1901, but he did receive a commission to second lieutenant in the U.S. Marine Corps on the 21st of March, 1900. His earliest service sent him to Newport, Rhode Island, Panama, and Puerto Rico before returning to the Marine barracks in New York. From 1906 to 1908, Eli spent time in the Philippines before serving as the post quartermaster for the Marine barracks in Annapolis, Maryland, and then commanding detachments on board the USS Louisiana, USS New Hampshire, and USS Alabama. He deployed to Veracruz from Florida, and it was his actions there that would later earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, for distinguished conduct in battle, engagements of Veracruz, 21-22 April, 1914. In both days fighting at the head of his company, Captain Fryer was eminent and conspicuous in his conduct, leading his men with skill and courage. Even though he was still in the Marine Corps during World War I, I am unable to find any information that details his service at that time. I do know that he retired from the Marine Corps in July of 1934 as a colonel after 34 years of service and was promoted to Brigadier General while on the retired list eight months later. Eli Thompson Fryer died on the 6th of June, 1963, at the age of 84, and is buried with his wife, Mary, in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 34, Lot 120-A. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Florus Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information. 